Bienvenidos a Daily Cigar, I am Lizardo and this channel is about all things cigar related and today I am going to help you transform your regular cigars into extraordinary cigars. I want you to unlock timeless flavor and to do this I am going to give you five points and break them down into how to store cigars for long term. Not only this, at the end I'm also going to give you some suggestions of cigars you might want to age, so stay to the end for that. So you might ask, why would you want to age cigars? Ain't they ready to smoke when they arrive, when you buy them? Especially the premium cigars. And you're totally right. Yes, especially when we're talking about like New World cigars. Some of the brands are bringing cigars out with five years, six, seven years of aging. Even Habanos, by the time they get rolled, they get put into boxes, they get checked, they get sent to distributors, then storage, and then they arrive to your shop. There's been some aging on that. But we're talking here about long-term aging, long-term storage of a cigar. So anything for 5, 10, 15, 20 years, that's what we're talking about here. And what you find is that when you store cigars long-term, when you age them for long terms, some of the things that could happen is that the flavors will develop. It would be a lot more of a complex cigar. The flavors will evolve. It will be much mellow. And then some nuances will come up that went there when the cigar was young, when the cigar was fresh. Another good thing about aging cigars is that time will help balance and harmonize flavors. It's almost like a marriage. If you think about the cigar anatomy, you have the wrapper, the binder, and the filler. Now, these tobaccos sometimes come from different terroirs, from different countries, from different parts of the same country, and definitely from different parts of the plant. Now, when you have it all rolled up and it's sitting there for five years, 10 years, 15 years, all of these oils will combine and it will create the perfect balance in the cigar and it will reduce any harshness, any bitterness that the cigar has, which is another great point of aging cigars. You will also find that by aging cigars, there will be changes, subtle changes to the aroma. Similar to what happens with flavors, that it will be more balanced and there will be a marriage of flavors. Same thing will happen to the aroma of the cigar. All of these oils will combine and when you burn them, the aroma will change and it will create different layers that went there when you smoke the cigar fresh. This will also make it a more of an enjoyable experience when you come to smoke it five, 10 years, 15 years later. And of course we have the collectors and the investors. You might want to keep your cigars because you want to invest money in it. And then as things are going at the moment that you buy a cigar, especially Habano, you buy a cigar today, two weeks later, you know, it's gone up or you're a collector and you want to, you know, collect those special edition boxes that only come out, you know, in that year for a limited run. And then you know that they're going to run out. If you have one of those boxes and you have something special, something specific, you might want to collect them. Now that we know why you might want to age cigar long term, how do you do it? Well, one of the first things that I think you should think about when aging cigars and keeping cigars long term is storage. Where are you going to put them? Because regardless whether you're doing this for personal use and investment or as a collector, you're going to probably end up spending a couple of thousand pounds worth of cigars. So you want to put them in a place where they're going to be safe and they're going to stay good for a long time. I prefer prefer or I will say the easiest thing to buy to keep your cigars in is a unit like this, which is temperature and humidity controlled. It is very easy. They have a unit at the bottom that you put distilled water, you plug it in, and then you have a couple of buttons where you can control the humidity and you can control the temperature. But obviously you also have things like this, which are purposely made for cigars, a desktop humidor, or even a larger humidor that you can just put aside for aging cigars. Humidity will be the second point to think about. Now that we know where we're gonna store our cigars, our humidor, the next point is humidity. And it is recommended normally that cigars are kept between 65 to 70 percent for optimal smoking conditions but here we're trying to look for optimal storage long-term storage conditions what is recommended is to keep your cigars between 65 64 maybe even as low as 63 percent this will reduce the rate of aging and it will give the cigars you know a gradual 
time for 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 it all to be more complex for the flavors to marry together if you have gone for the temperature control unit that you just gotta tap a couple of times and that's it for you this is why i said it was the easiest because all you gotta do is just tap 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 put it to 63 and it'll do its thing if you haven't gone for that and you've gone for the humidor then you have to use different methods in a hu in a humidor depending on the size you might be able to use something similar to what the temperature control units use you can have an electric humidifying unit that you also pour some water in and normally they'll have some fans to circulate the humidity around the cigars but if you have a small desktop humidor I think the best thing for you to do will be use like a boveda bag because you won't have no problem with any water touching your cigars, any splashes, any leakage, or anything. The easiest thing will be using boveda bags. You just place them around the humidor. Normally you don't need too many and they will give you the humidity that you need and absorb any extra humidity, preventing any mold or any, you know, humid areas in, in your humidor. I will link some of these boveda bags in the description. And whilst you're there, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. I have done videos on history of brands. I've reviewed some cigars, some accessories. I have you know, done videos on how to enjoy your cigars better, how to cut your cigars. I've done a couple of videos now, and I've seen that they all get about the same amount of views. I wanted to ask you, which of these videos do you enjoy the most? And have you got any questions? Which videos you want me to do next? Because the reason I created this YouTube channel is to share what I've learned from cigars and what I keep learning so that you can enjoy cigars the same way I do and we create an ask community. There is the comment section below. You can always leave me a comment. I will reply to them and I will always read them. Any questions you know, I can make a video of, I'll do that. But there is also a link to my Discord account where we could even, you know, chat between me and you. But there is also a group of people where we can all talk and have little discussions, have the Daily Cigar community in one place. The next point will be temperature. So we know that cigars need to be well humidified and to have a controlled temperature. Now, the recommended temperature is normally between 70 to 20 but similar to humidity when we're trying to age cigars long term we would like to drop that temperature a bit as well it will do the same thing prolong the aging process but also it will protect you from the beetle bag dropping the temperature to somewhere around 14 13 even 12 would be perfect the way that you store your cigars is important you got to think about proper positioning and ventilation because we are going to have humidity in the cigars and if it gets too humid to one side of the, of the humidor and all of these cigars are all bunched up, messy, you might start getting mold. If you don't have enough air circulation for your humidor, you're going to have problems. What you want is to have some air circulation. Make sure you pack your cigars properly. You will also need to rotate your cigars every now and then because if cigar uh, down the bottom will get less air circulation to the one on top. So this is an important point to keep in mind. Be careful with the lighting. So don't, don't have your cigars exposed to direct lighting because the light from, from indoors or even sunlight will dry the, the wrappers. It could change the flavors of your cigars because if it's, for example, the sun, the rays of the sun would probably dry the oils on the wrapper. So try and keep your cigars in a cool, dark area if possible. If you buy a humidor with a glass front, sometimes you can buy like a, a protective film to put on them. If you got a walking humidor, try and find a darker area for those cigars that are gonna be sitting there for five years, 10 years. And that's it. Those are my five points on how to store cigars long term. But now, what cigars should you keep? What cigars should you age? You should age the cigars that you enjoy. You enjoy a cigar as it is today. You go to the shop and you, oh, this is a great cigar. Age it. You know, if you buy a box, age it. Smoke one in a year or two 
smoking another one in five years. See how it develops, see how it's changing. It might be bad because not all cigars are made to age, but some cigars are, even regular cigars. For example, the Cubans say that the Romeo and Julieta is a brand that is best at five years because the way that is made, the tobacco that is used, five years. When you age for five years, that's the best it was gonna be. My main reason for aging cigars will be aging cigars that you enjoy. Now, if you're a collector or you are investor, that's different. You'll be looking at aging cigars that are limited editions, special editions, cigars made with special tobacco, cigars that are not limited edition, they're regular production, but they're very hard to find. So don't just concentrate yourself on finding these special editions and overpaying sometimes to grab them so that you can age them as an investment or even as a hobby. Find the cigars that you like and just have a couple of things in mind. A properly built cigar, so good construction, good flavors, and something that you enjoy. So it's been five years and you've been looking at your cigars and caring for them for so long, or maybe even 10 years, and congratulations to you, you've been strong. But now you want to smoke one. Do you just grab one and smoke it, or is there a special thing to do? First, if you've kept the cigars at a low humidity and low temperature, I will say maybe put the cigar in a normal humidor for a two or three days so that you bring up the humidity and the temperature and that cigar is at a better smoking temperature and humidity. And then when you bring it out, just assess the cigar because normally the wrapper, the, the tobacco leaves, they will lose the elasticity. Maybe if you cut it too hard, you're gonna break the wrapper. Assess the cigar, take your time and appreciate it because you've put five, 10 years of your time plus the people who made the cigar in the first place. So appreciate all of this and then maybe use a very sharp cutter just give it a good cut so that it's clean or even use a punch if you think that a cutter will damage the wrapper and when it comes to lighting maybe avoid using blue flame lighter you know a jet lighter maybe use like a soft flame because again when you age a cigar for so long some of those oil evaporates so you have a drier leaf and if you're using something like a jet lighter that's going to burn this leaf too quickly and you're going to shower it and it's not going to smoke that well so maybe use soft flame lighter take your time you're already giving it 5 10 15 years of your time just give it a couple of more minutes or a couple of days to enjoy it at its fullest and yeah this is how you take care of your cigars long term how you age cigars this is how you do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Remember what I asked you earlier. Tell me what you think would be better to make for the next future videos. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe. And if you are looking to learn more about cigars, I'm gonna leave you a video over here where I'm gonna talk about how to taste your cigars like the pros. In the meantime, thank you for watching. See you next time. Cheers, smoke less, smoke the best.